Here we go again. Marcus Rashford's future looks set to lie away from Manchester United. Sunsport has exclusively revealed that the Red Devils are willing to listen to offers for their academy graduate. Eric Ten Hag is keen to cash in on the 26-year-old after two controversial mid-season partying incidents, one of which caused him to ring in sick and miss training before an FA Cup tie. United, however, won't let their once prolific striker leave the theater of dreams on the cheap. It's understood they want at least 80 millions of pounds for their number 10, who scored eight goals in 43 appearances last season. The United Brass, however, would be willing to accept an offer in the region of 60 millions of pounds given his dip in form. News of United's willingness to part company with Rashford will have no doubt perked up the ears of clubs around the world. So, Sunsport thought it'd only be right to go through the five serious contenders to sign the England international. Those are Al Nasser, Arsenal, Barcelona, Bayern Munich, Paris Saint-Germain. Meanwhile, Man United have been told that Matthijs de Ligt would be a better signing than Jarad Branthwaite. Glenn Johnson said to Paddy Power, For me, Matthijs de Ligt would be a better signing for Manchester United than Gerard Branthwaite. He's been around for a long time, and if the deals are similar, then de Ligt would be top of my list, and it's a position we know they need to nail down. To have a young player that plays the way he does will mean they've got someone who can be there for the next five or six years, and maybe more. Elsewhere, the overhaul of the Manchester United playing squad is yet to officially get underway, but Eric Ten Hag's men are expected to look slightly different when the 2024-25 season starts in August. Recent reports from The Mirror have claimed that new sporting director Dan Ashworth is actively working to reshape the squad at Old Trafford. Like all Premier League clubs, United are faced with constraints in terms of their spending by the profit and sustainability rules (PSR). Because of this, United have to be measured in their spending. To raise funds and help balance the books, player sales are expected, and several players are expected to be sold. Raphael Varane, Anthony Marshall and Brandon Williams have all already departed the club, but no revenue was made from their exits as they left when their contracts expired. It's thought Casemiro, Victor Lindelof, Harry Maguire, Christian Eriksen, Anthony, Jaden Sancho and Mason Greenwood have all been made available for transfers with around 200 millions of pounds hopefully being raised. Somewhat surprisingly, Scott McTominay was not a name mentioned on the list of players looking to be sold, despite seemingly being on his way out for some time. West Ham were close to signing the Scotland International last summer, before he made over 40 appearances under Ten Hag last term. However, his signature is in high demand once again, and it seems as though the race is heating up. According to journalist Michael Plant, Fulham are leading the race to sign McTominay as the replacement for Joao Palhinha. The Portugal international is closing in on a 42.3 millions of pounds move to Bayern Munich, where he will sign a deal until 2028. The deal is said to be close with a medical booked, leaving Fulham short in midfield. It is currently unclear whether the cottagers will push ahead with their interest in McTominay. There is also uncertainty over whether United will be keen to sell him after he played such a big role for United last term. On the other side, Manchester United have reportedly moved into the lead in the transfer race to sign Joshua Xerxes. The Bologna forward has caught the eye of the Red Devils after his impressive performance in the Serie A last season. Xerxes, who has a 34 millions of pounds release clause, had been targeted by Italian giants AC Milan, who were deemed the frontrunners to recruit the 23-year-old. But according to La Gazzetta dello Sport, the transfer has stalled with Milan amid hefty agent demands. And new reports from Italy suggest the Red Devils are now the favorites to land Xerxes, but will have to wait until after Euro 2024 to finalize any deal. The Netherlands international scored 12 goals in all competitions last season and provided seven assists. The outlet claimed that United's move for the star has not progressed, but are in the lead to sign Xerxes. But Bologna have confirmed Xerxes is 99.9% .9 certain to leave the club this summer. Xerxes was handed a late call-up to the Euro squad this summer, following Frankie de Jong's injury, which ruled him out of the tournament and is yet to star in Germany. Meanwhile, United are edging closer to signing Bayern Munich defender Matthijs de Ligt as they aim to bolster their backline this summer.
De Ligt, who was in Holland's squad for the Euro 2024 victory over Romania, is keen to work with his old Ajax boss, Eric Ten Hag, at Old Trafford. United are prepared to offer the 24-year-old a five-year contract if they can strike a deal for 42 millions of pounds, including add-ons with Bayern. The Bavarian giants will need the cash to sign Jonathan Ta from Bayer Leverkusen as his replacement. Ten Hag is set to play De Ligt on the right side of central defense and is still targeting Gerard Branthwaite to play on the left. In other news, Man United fans have urged Eric Ten Hag to start Ahmad Diallo next season after seeing a video of him training in preseason. The Ivory Coast star is aiming to cement his spot at right wing next season after being spotted getting his preseason training underway. Man United shared a video, originally posted on the winger's Instagram page, to their own social media channels. The clips showed Ahmad picking up the ball, dribbling towards a defender, and skipping past them, before subsequently burying a shot into the back of the net. Elsewhere, Man United reportedly missed out on four top stars as a result of the Glazers' lack of transfer expertise. The Athletic claims they axed a move for Germany and Bayern Munich superstar Jamal Musiala after deeming it too risky, and United pulled out of a deal for RB Leipzig's Slovakia striker Benjamin Sesko as they didn't want to pay a $1.7 million transfer fee. The Red Devils also missed out on Moises Caicedo and Pedro Neto after dithering at the negotiating table, with both men now established Premier League stars. Additionally, Teddy Sheringham admits he'd drop Man United star Kabi Mainu for England's next game against Switzerland. The former Red Devil told Poker Sites, I thought Kabi Mainu did very well. He's very comfortable on the ball and had no problems at all. He's a natural midfield player which means it's going to come naturally to him. Having said that, I would actually leave Maynou out of the next game to allow Phil Foden and Jude Bellingham to play in midfield together with Declan Rice behind. I'd bring in Anthony Gordon at left wing just to give the team some sort of release to relieve pressure. On the other side, Manchester United announced that Eric Ten Hag has extended his contract as Manchester United men's first team manager until June 2026. Eric Ten Hag said, I am very pleased to have reached agreement with the club to continue working together. Looking back at the past two years, we can reflect with pride on two trophies and many examples of progression from where we were when I joined. However, we must also be clear that there is still lots of hard work ahead to reach the levels expected of Manchester United, which means challenging for English and European titles. In my discussions with the club, we have found complete unity in our vision for reaching those goals, and we are all strongly committed to making that journey together. Dan Ashworth, Manchester United Sporting Director said, With two trophies in the past two seasons, Eric has reinforced his record as one of the most consistently successful coaches in European football. While the club's review of last season highlighted areas for improvement, it also reached a clear conclusion that Eric was the best partner for us to work with in driving up standards and outcomes. This group of players and staff have already shown they are capable of competing and winning at the top level. Now we need to do it more consistently. With our strengthened football leadership team now in place, we are looking forward to working hand in hand with Eric to achieve our shared ambitions for this football club. Meanwhile, Mason Greenwood could be set for a move to France. The 22-year-old is expected to leave Old Trafford after returning from a loan at Getafe. Greenwood netted 10 goals in 36 games for the Spanish side, and, last week, he was crowned their player of the season. Getafe are eager to re-sign Greenwood on a permanent deal. The forward has entered the final year of his United contract, and the La Liga outfit are hopeful of striking terms on a bargain fee. But Greenwood has solid interest from Portuguese giants Benfica, with the forward already meeting club chiefs. Italian duo Juventus and Lazio are thought to have opened talks with United over a deal, and a return to Spain is also possible with Valencia. However, Gianluca Di Marzio claims French aces Marseille have taken the lead in the race to sign Greenwood ahead of his other suitors. The League One outfit have just welcomed ex-Brighton boss Roberto De Zerbi as their new manager and they are ready to shake up their squad with a move for Greenwood. The report claims Marseille have already presented an offer greater than the 17 millions of pounds put forward by Lazio, and they have great confidence in luring Greenwood to the velodrome, 
where ex-Premier League stars like Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, Ismaila Saar, and Chancel Mbemba ply their trade. Greenwood now has a big decision to make, with United determined to get the best fee possible. Reports last month claimed his preference is to join Juventus, who can offer him Champions League football and are set for an exciting rebuild with new boss Thiago Mata. But it remains to be seen whether the cash-strapped Italians can cough up the same fee as Marseille, who will not be playing in Europe after an eighth-place finish. On the other side, Manchester United are chasing a new centre-back this summer and could end up seeing one target sign for a Premier League rival. Eric Ten Hag heads into the summer transfer window with a number of positions needing some attention. Centre-back is likely to be a top priority, with lingering issues in the heart of Manchester United's backline. Harry Maguire and Lisandro Martinez have endured injury problems, whilst Victor Lindelof is attracting interest from Jose Mourinho's Fenerbahce. United need to add at least one centre back this summer, but a bid for Everton's Jared Branthwaite has been rejected. Bayern Munich's Matthijs de Ligt now appears to be the top target for the United boss, but only after one option was blocked from heading to Old Trafford.